morning everyone welcome back to the channel welcome to a new day it is tuesday morning and happy halloween it is halloween day and i have my hat on because i just came in from outside with gypsy uh took her out for the morning and uh got the garbage and recycle out and guess what it's snowing so we got our first snowfall of the season it's not snowing heavy but enough to know it's snowing <laughs> Uh, it's a comfortable about 30, 32 degrees maybe, I don't know. So, as you can see, uh, I never showed you some of the Halloween decorations I had on the wall. I've had them up for about a little over a month. Um, I just never showed you. I've got some fall decorations. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, I just wanted to let you know it's snowing. So, <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. I went outside right away and never put them on. So... Uh, we're going to make some pulled pork, slow cooker pulled pork today. And uh, let's see what else I can get accomplished today. All right. So I'm going to go feed the kitties. Uh, <laughs> hi, baby. Chipsy's uh, looking at me, tilting her head, playing with her ball. And uh, so, yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, everyone. So I'm outside. I came back outside because I wanted to put the bird cam out. So... I'll show you what I got going on here and it's snowing a little bit still hopefully it just trickles the whole day so we can get some nice snow in the bird bird feeder so hopefully it's been a while since I put the bird cam out the last video of the bird video was taken in late summer early fall so yeah let me show you the bird cam all right so I got my my little uh, phone holder uh, action camera holder uh, clip to the pole here this is my power pack and it's hooked up to my uh, action camera so we got uh, got some peanuts in there sunflower seeds and the blue jays were already squawking so I probably chased them off so I'm gonna leave so they can come back All right, everyone, so I've got the pork loin in the slow cooker for our pulled pork tonight on this Halloween night. And unfortunately, we do not have candy to give out to the kids. We usually don't get a lot of kids here. Um, but yeah, so we won't be passing out candy. Um, we hardly ever get kids on this block. So, um, but anyway, we're going to have pulled pork tonight and... I'll see what kind of dessert I'm going to make tonight. So, uh, but right now I am going to make lunch. So I'm going to get to that. All right, everyone. So I am getting lunch ready and I'm just going to make a box of this mac and cheese that we got from the food pantry. And I've got some cucumber cut up and we're just going to have that on the side with some ranch dressing and... I've got the hamburger patties on the stove. <laughs> that was a little bit of delay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get the water boiling for this. Oh, look at this on the back. Buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Hmm. Wow. Might have to uh, keep that recipe and maybe try it for Glenn. He likes that buffalo stuff. All right, I'm going to get this going and we're going to have lunch. I might even put a little uh, pudding cup on the side. So, And I'll show you some other decorations I have in the kitchen cabinets here. You see my uh, kitchen uh, mittens there. And then up in the cabinets, I have a pretty big maple leaf there. And these are some old decorations that I got at the Dollar Tree years ago. So I got those. So these are the kitchen cabinets and then our kitchen window, we got that up there. And then over here, another maple leaf. So this maple leaf is red, the other one is orange. And then another decoration there. So you see where I'm at here, uh, there's the countertop and there's my dirty dishes. <laughs> Just a couple dishes that I need to wash from yesterday and the other kitchen counter. 
I got my avocado sitting here to remind me I need to eat that before it goes bad. What I heard is if you put them in the refrigerator, they last longer. And I forgot to do that, so I need to eat that. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's my decorations in the kitchen. So here's what I'm going to do. You, ha I haven't showed you the other lights, so I'll do that in a minute. But once Halloween is over... I'm going to take a stringer of lights, orange lights that I, it's they're fairy lights, but they're USB plugged. So all I have to do is plug it into a USB port and I can leave them on forever. <laughs> but I thought about stringing them under the cabinets all along here and under here. The stringer is like 33 feet long. And I have two of them, but one is on the hutch and it's lit up on the hutch with all my fall decorations and it looks beautiful. So I'm not going to take that one off. That one's going to sit the entire fall Thanksgiving season. So yeah, I'm going to light up this kitchen. If some of you remember when I did a video last Christmas, I had it all lit up with colored Christmas lights under here. I love my holiday lights fall lights which are orange uh all the way through thanksgiving and i love my christmas lights so the only thing i didn't put up because even after christmas i put uh blue and white lights up for winter snow like those are the colors for like snow winter so i put those up i keep them all through the winter the only lights i don't put up are red ones for valentine's i do have some red ones so we'll see. We won't get that far ahead. <laughs> Let us just uh, enjoy the season that is here right now. And that is what I am doing. So I am, I'm just like so happy right now. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. Just because of the season we're in and the snow that's outside, it's so beautiful. I've got the bird cam up. Ho hopefully it's capturing snow. Let me uh, put this in the window to see if you can see it. The windows are dirty. Because it, it's been raining a lot. But over here is the bird cam right here. If you can see it snowing. Yep. All right. So I'm going to continue on lunch here. <laughs> and I'll get back to you. All right, everyone. So here is our lunch on this Halloween afternoon. Just a hamburger patty, mac and cheese, cucumber with some ranch dressing. Uh, I guess you can call this a food pantry lunch because the mac and cheese and the hamburger came from the food pantry. All right, so I'm going to eat lunch and then uh, I'll get started on something. All right, everyone. So we are finished eating lunch and I've got my dishes all washed and in the dish strainer. That's the one thing I like about a two-sided uh, sink is I can put a dish strainer on the other side and let all the dishes dry without having it on the counter. So, yep, dishes all cleaned up. Counter's all clear, like I, just how I like it. <laughs> so, one thing about my counters versus, I've, I've said in the past, as far as the shelf that I keep the food on, I, I have mentioned that I like to keep the food out so I can see, I like to see what's there. That's for that. But as far as the countertops, I like my countertops empty. <laughs> and the only thing I like on them are decorations for the holidays. Or if I'm using something like the slow cooker right now. But other than that, I don't like a bunch of clutter on my countertops. The coffee pot is there because I'm using the slow cooker over the other side and I don't have uh, any electrical outlets on this side. So I think I'm going to try to run a power strip and maybe stick it underneath the cabinet there so I can have some power over there. But yes, my countertops have to be pretty much empty. I like to walk in the kitchen in the morning and see empty countertops and clean dishes <laughs> so yeah so that's done and i just wanted to show you uh the bird feeder there's no the birds are in and out all day long so i'm going to show you that 
Sorry, you'd have to look through the screen of the kitchen window, but there's no birds on there right now. There's a big fall leaf in the platform feeder, um, but the birds are in and out. A snowbird just landed in there, dark-eyed juncos. Those are called snowbirds, and there have been so many different birds in the feeder today. I am so happy. I get so happy when I see them land in there. Uh, there's been numerous cardinals, female and male, blue jays, uh, two different types of woodpeckers, the snowbirds, the sparrows, the purple finches, the house finches. Oh, there's been so much color in the feeder today. Yeah, I can't wait to uh, edit that video and put it out for you. So, oh yeah, I get so excited about that stuff. <laughs> Blue Jay just landed in there right now. They've eaten all the full peanuts, so they're uh, scraping for uh, sunflower seeds and already shelled peanuts. So, <laughs> yeah, that camera is good to about 3.30 or so, the battery on that power pack. Or not even that, it's the... Uh, data storage I have on the SD card that'll take it about five and a half hours so about 3:30 or so that camera should be done but yeah so exciting I can't wait to edit and post this video of the bird cam um, yeah so I hope you guys enjoy it too <laughs> all right I'm gonna do something else next so this is our hutch and as you can see it's got fairy lights all over it that is one big strand that's 33 feet long and on this hutch it's all strictly fall it's not well I do have a turkey in there for Thanksgiving <laughs> but there's no Halloween stuff on here so this actually is going to stay up till Thanksgiving so I'm going to leave this here this strand of fairy lights is USB connected, so there I can leave them on 24 hours a day. So what I have them hooked up with is my little power pack, and I'll show you that. So over here, I've showed you these little power packs that I have, and I just plugged in the USB port. Sorry for the blurriness. And I think I changed this yesterday. It's still on three lights. I can get three or four days of lights on there. 
uh, with that little power pack, it will power these lights for about three or four days. And then I have two of them, so I charge one so it's ready to go when this one goes dead. So I actually leave these on 24 hours a day. I love the lights. So you can see it's all strung around with the fall leaf strand. And I've showed you this table before, but when I showed you this table the first time, all the fairy lights, I had about three or four strands of short ones, and they were battery operated. The batteries were dying so fast, and they're the little flat round batteries, so I couldn't recharge them or anything. So I ended up getting a two-pack of the USB lights. So I have these hooked up with USB as well. And yes, I leave these on 24-7. <laughs> I love these lights. You love the lights too, baby? You love the lights? <laughs> yes, yeah, so this was my Halloween table. And this will stay up. And then I'll take it down either tomorrow or the next day. All right, everyone. So I am going to make some fudge crinkle cookies. Um, normally I make these like at Christmas time and once, once during the year maybe. So I was trying to think of something to make. All my butter is cold. I know you can, you know, make it soft very quickly, but... I think I felt like having these fudge crinkle cookies. So what you're going to need is one box of devil's food mix or devil's food cake. So I've already got it in here. And these were sent to us in friend mail. And you're going to need a half a cup of vegetable oil. And you're going to need two eggs. You are going to need some uh, powdered sugar on the side. Oops, I got an egg sh two eggshells in there. I usually don't crack them in a separate bowl for that purpose. Oh, there's another eggshell. <laughs> so if we feel something crunchy while we're eating them... <laughs> safe there all right so all that's all you're going to need for this and now you're going to mix it and it's just going to form a dough it's not going to be wet like a cake mix it's going to form a cook like a cookie dough actually before it forms i'm going to throw in some walnuts see how that does so our trick-or-treat is from four to seven o'clock I don't know if you guys where you guys live there's designated days and time for trick-or-treat and ours is from four to seven o'clock 
So if we're not giving out candy, we're supposed to turn off our outside lights. So right now it's 320. So as soon as I get these cookies going, by the time I'm doing that, then the bird cam should be out of storage on the SD card. I'll pick that up and then uh, basically come in the house and shut the outside lights off. <laughs> So this is going to be really thick and a little sticky. I've got the oven preheated to uh, 350 and I usually bake them for like eight minutes, eight to eight and a half minutes. Usually eight minutes is my time for everything, <laughs> for all my cookies. Yeah, you can see it's kind of gooey sticky and that's a little bit of why you need that powdered sugar because you're gonna dust your hands in them I've done it without dusting my hands and it was fine where has today gone oh my gosh already almost 3 30 So that's good enough right there. I've already got two cookie sheets with parchment paper on the other counter. I'll bring one of them over. Alright, so... I've got some powdered sugar in here and you are going to roll your dough balls in there. And again, I always just make the cookies smaller by using this tablespoon. And that's probably why my cookies will be done at eight minutes. So I just scoop up a tablespoonful and then just take it out of there. Because of the oil, it slides right out. But you can see if you don't dust your hands it'll still come out so now I'm just going to take that cookie dough ball and roll it in the powdered sugar and just put it on my cookie sheet if I dust my hands I'll show you I've dusted my hands with powdered sugar And that's basically, it just sticks a little less. All right, and that's it. And then just, uh, you don't want to press them down or anything. Just roll them into dough balls and put them on your cookie sheet. And then put them in the oven for like, well, for me, it's like eight minutes. So, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I'll be back. All right, so here is my first batch after eight minutes, and you can see on top why they're called fudge crinkle cookies, because look at the tops are all cracked, and that's the way it's supposed to be. They taste much like a brownie, and uh, so I call them fudge crinkle cookies, or you can call them brownie cookies, doesn't matter. So when these cool off, I'm actually still going to sift some powdered sugar over them. All right, so I got my second batch in now. The wind has picked up a lot outside, so it's blowing snow everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to be going to get my bird cam out uh, just a few minutes after the second batch. so I'm taking my bird cam down uh, the snow is turning to sleet now so yeah it's starting to <laughs> like pounce me in the face so yeah this is where it gets messy when you get snow and it turns into sleet or rain 
everything gets real messy. So yeah, you can see those fine little snowballs are actually uh, sleet. And that could be dangerous on the road. So something tells me we're not going to have a lot of trick-or-treaters walking around today. And that starts in about 15 minutes. So, all right, let's get this uh, bird cam down. Let me see if it's done. Yep, it's done. All right. Everything's probably frozen. <laughs> what I'm worried about is uh, snow getting into my power pack. So I'm going to have to test that out. All right, so yeah, that's uh, it for the bird cam today, and hopefully I'll get to edit it soon so I can post it. All right, everyone, so I just checked the pork loin in there. It's not done yet. It's 4 o'clock now. I cut it in like three pieces, so hopefully it gets done a little quicker, but I'm not going to rush it really, so it uh, probably be another hour or so. So I'm not too worried about it. All right, so that's taken care of. Uh, I'll sift pow powdered sugar over those cookies here real soon. And let me show you what I'm about to do. All right, everyone. So it's 4 o'clock now. So it's the later part of my day and heading towards the evening. Uh, right now, I'm going to sit down and edit a video that I still need to upload and uh, upload for today. And then, uh, yeah, so I got to get that done. In a little while, I'm going to list some Christmas stuff on uh, Facebook Marketplace. And while I'm editing, uh, this is what I like to have on the TV. So while I'm editing, now this is our uh, living room TV. And this hasn't been turned on all day until I just turned it on, um, just like at 4 o'clock. And while I'm editing my video... I just like to put some ambience videos on. So this is a fall ambience video, not mine, of course. But I still like to watch other ambience videos. I have watched mine plenty of times. Um, this is just a different type of ambience. Mine is done with photos and things like that. These type are done with like Adobe Photoshop and After Effects and things like that. So the people who do these types of videos, oh, they do amazing work. I love just putting it on and just relaxing to it. So uh, there are some times that I'll just leave it on all through the night. <laughs> and then when Christmas time comes around, I'll have some Christmas ambience. I will be creating some of my own Christmas ambience videos. I'll start working on those real soon. But meanwhile, I still have one or two more fall ambience videos that I need to work on from the drives that we've taken recently. So, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing now. I need to edit and upload a video. And uh, in a little while, we'll eat our, our uh, pulled pork. So, yeah, that's pretty much... Uh, taking me through most of my day now and uh, stay tuned for the rest of it. Okay, so before I get to editing my video, I'm just gonna sift the powdered sugar on these cookies so that way they're done and I can have a couple while I'm editing. I like to have a snack while I'm editing and I've been tasting these cookies all day long. All right, so I am gonna reuse the powdered sugar I was using to roll the cookie dough balls in them. And yes, they touched raw cookie dough, but it's no big deal. I've done this before and I'm still alive. So, all right. So I'll just put it through the sifter and just sift powdered sugar over them. Because as you can see, when they baked with the powdered sugar, a lot of that has disappeared. And once I'm done with this, like these cookies, what I can do is take the cookies off and uh, take all, take the parchment paper and fold it in or fold it over and just like uh, roll all that powdered sugar that's laying on it back into this so I can reuse that. And that way you're not wasting it. See how that works? <laughs> All right, so that's all I do to them, and now they're actually ready to eat. Yeah. 
All right, everyone. So it's just before six o'clock. I've shredded up the pork. And so what I'm doing here is because Glenn is still in the trailer, I'm going to take him some in the hot mini hot logic. And he's just going to plug it in in the trailer. Uh, for those of you who don't know who Glenn is, uh, he is my husband. He's disabled. And the reason he's in a, a trailer is because that's how he spends his summer so he can get outside every day. Uh, he uses a mobility scooter. So I'll explain more on that later. The reason he is still in the trailer is that I have asked him if he could stay there just a little bit longer. Um, because there is at least one Christmas event I do want to go to that we haven't been to in years. And it's at a wildlife park. And they deck out the whole park for Christmas. And it becomes a Christmas drive through You can stop and see all the wildlife. I've taken pictures there before, but we haven't been there in I don't know how many years. And it's something we used to do all the time. And I really want us to do at least this. So that drive through doesn't start until November 18th. So he's going to see if he can hang in there uh, in the trailer with it getting colder. I did bring in my zero degree sleeping bag for him. So he said it did wonders. It was awesome for him last night, which was really cold outside. So he said it was it was beautiful. <laughs> so, and it is supposed to warm up a little bit into the 40s. So, hopefully it won't be too bad for him. But, like I said, more to come on that later. But Glenn is my husband. He stayed in a trailer in our driveway. And, yeah, and that's so he could get in and out of it to be outside every day in the summertime. So again, I just asked them to hang in there a little bit longer so we can do at least one Christmas event. All right. So anyway, I've got some, uh, we use Sweet Baby Ray's honey barbecue sauce. So I threw some in here for him and I'm sending a little extra in case it's not enough. And I made the cook, fudge crinkle cookies. So I'm sending those as well. I'll send them some buns and hamburger buns. So that's what that's what I'm doing right now. Hey everyone, I'm outside. It's dark now. It's uh, probably about six o'clock, a little after six. So yeah, we got a, uh, we probably got an inch between one and two inches of accumulation. I would say closer to inch and a half, but it's so beautiful. Oh, but I'm actually out here to um, wipe all the snow off the bird feeder. Because the birds are going there and I don't know if they realize they can't dig into there. But they're not eating. So I'm going to take the snow off the bird feeder here. I want my birds to be able to eat. Ooh, that's cold. Alright everyone, so it is time for me to eat. So before I'm, I fix my plate... Um, I went ahead and fed the cats and my video was ready to go public. So I wanted to make sure I got my video public uploaded and, uh, uploaded and made public before I sat down to eat. So that's done. Now I'm going to eat and enjoy some sit down time, uh, throw on a video on YouTube. Um, I already have one I want to watch. So it's more about truck camping and nomad life. So, yeah, I'm going to I think I'm going to go ahead and uh shut the video off here. So, that was pretty much a day in my life. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I truly appreciate all the support. And if you have any ideas of videos you would like me to do, drop them down in the comments. So, all right, so it's time to go eat, and with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.